Unpopular opinion, I feel many people are overcooking their herbs. In return, they're not releasing the full potential of the herb. You know, it's not collard greens or baked mac and cheese. You can maximize the full potential of herbs when they're prepared properly. You want to prepare it in a way to where you're getting all of that nutrients, all of the minerals that's held with inside. With that being said, we'll talk about three different type of herbs, and these are dried herbs. Your root-like herbs, your leaf-like herbs, and your floral type of herbs. When preparing your root-like herbs, such as burdock, yellow dock, sarsaparilla, it's best to allow them to soak for a few hours or overnight before cooking them on a low heat for 10 to 15 minutes. This allows the herbs to release their mineral content resulting in a richer flavor. When it comes to dried herbs such as yellow dock, the bitter herbs, a lot of people complain about its flavor but it in fact is because they're overcooking it. When you cook it like this, it's not as bad. You know, it's still bitter but the flavor component of it is more compatible for our taste buds. If you have dried herbs such as bilberry, elderberry, you can prepare those in a similar way as you would the root herbs. Leaf-like herbs such as soursop, basil, bay leaf, things of that nature. All you have to do is allow water to reach to a boiling point, shut off the heat, and then add in your leaves. Allow them to steep for 10 to 15 minutes and then cover the pot with a lid to lock in the flavor. Leaves compared to root-like herbs are more easily penetrated and don't require long periods of prep time. For your floral herbs, such as chamomile, lavender, uh, even hops, the best way to prepare them is through a cold infusion or at room temperature. Simply add the herbs to a mason jar fill with water, cover with a lid, and allow them to soak overnight. This allows the herbs to release their flavor content without being affected by the heat. You see, floral herbs are more easily penetrated more so than leaf and root-like herbs. So you don't need any heat to have them release their mineral or nutritional content. By following these specific preparation techniques for each type of herb, you can fully experience the richness and depth of flavor that they have to offer. Not only that, but herbs are meant to be used more than once. When you overcook them for three to four hours, it's done, it's a wrap. It's soil amendment now. But when you prepare your herbs, as I mentioned, you'll be able to use them two to three to four times and still get that flavor from it. In the description, check out the affiliates link for Star West and Mountain Rose Herbs. On those sites, you can find a nice selection of herbs and get them in bulk at a good price. I will have a blog detailing more in-depth information on preparing your herbs with some suggestions, recommendations. Until next time, peace, God.